Hi fellas, happy Umbra Wednesday. It could be a long drawn out one this. Um, I can't have too long, I'm much left on the battery, but uh, let's get into it straight away. Right, I'm going to review tonight this is a Belgium Double Dubel from uh, Yorkshire Homebrew 001 Sony. Cheers for that, mate. 7.2%, so I better leave that one to last um, to keep my faculties about me. I think it's a festival kit, and I've got a little bit of a I printed something off and I'll print it, screenshotted it and we'll go into that in a bit. We're looking forward to trying that one. Also a beer from Adam at Baldi's Brew, Sriracha and Coconut Pale Ale. Really looking forward to trying that one. Never had coconut in a beer before so that's one for to savour. So I'm going to let that settle because it's quite um, shook up at the moment. I will message you again Adam, I've got some beers hopefully before Christmas to come out to some of you fellas and also surprise this one as well this is another one from uh, Longstraw Stu it's a winter warmer 6.1 percent and we also have um, Star of Christmas that's a winter warmer as well it's 5.5 percent really looking forward to trying them Stu so I'm going to settle them down um, hopefully I might actually try and do one on Christmas Day if I get a chance or pre-record it and release it on Christmas Day because I uh, really appreciate that. And we've got a card as well there to Dave. Don't open till Christmas and don't spend it all at once. Best wishes from all of us at Ermington, Stu. So there we've got real gold. So we'll uh, look real forward to them. So thank you fellas. Um, right, what have I been up to on a personal level? Um, loads actually. I did have a keg empty. I've got um, I've actually got two kegs empty. I don't know. Um, I, I'll go through the story anyway. Um, one of the kegs kicked. So what I've done. I've done a, a Wilco Hop and Cheer. It's a, a pale ale. Not tried this one before. It's quite new on the market, and I've read some reviews on the website, and it doesn't sound too hoppy. So day four, I banged in. I think it's twenty liters. Because um, it can be a bit shy of the ABVs. Didn't use sugar, I used a brew at hand, which is I think it's half sugar and half um, extract, isn't it? Dry malt extract. So if, on day four, I've added 100 grams of Cascade, no bag, because the last few times I've done um, hops in a bag, it's not been that pronounced. And if you're going to use hops for dry hop, I think you need know, a better. Um, spread just toss them straight in um, and if have you uh, guys any feedback anything like that any thoughts would be appreciated but I'm pretty sure that's the way to go just throw them all in obviously you've got to be careful to filter them out into a keg and one of my last beers had trouble in the corner which blocked managed it thanks to you fellas uh, right um, the raspberry wheat beer which will be it's just a Wilco kit it was a the two can kit as you see me do the original one. Um, I saw loads of questions, some great feedback, and I went to go far. Um, two fellows in particular, pretty similar um, ideas. The brewmaster Ben and Frank's homebrew seventy seven. Is it sixty seven? I'm joking, mate. Right, uh, seventy seven. Yeah, so I've gone. I've gone. I've actually done two point four kilograms of raspberries. It should have been 2.5, I had 20 litres, so I've eaten it out, so we've calmed down. Um, that's been at day 10, another day to, uh, 10 days, I'm going to bottle that one. Hopefully i get some decent results on that one. Um, got to work out the primary sugar from the bottling bucket, I've always bottle primed. I'm going to try a batch prime this time. Um, what was that else was it? Oh, the Gazdawa, can't say it, um, the Milky Stout. Uh, last of them budget kits, you've seen me do the videos previously. Um, well, I've not been too impressed. Only one fermented down, and that's because I used uh, a liquid malt extract at 1.5 kilograms, and that did bring the FG down. Okay, um, so day three, I took gravity reading. It was 1.030, which you would expect that kind of thing, wouldn't you? You know, from 105, I think it was. Not uh, unobtrusive. Um, in the final gravity, I think it was day 10, 1.030, it's not moved at all. So it's looking at 
my 3.2% ABV. Um, I did dry hop that one with, I think I did, uh, it was nuggets, 50 grams of nuggets at day 6 or 7, something like that, just to give us some bit of bitterness, just to knock the edge off the sweetness. Um, it's in the keg and it's not one I'd send out, but um, I may do a review uh, in a couple of weeks, something like that, just drawing off the keg, maybe in a homebrew Wednesday video, I certainly won't send any out. I might actually do what Tony did. Um, and just bottle a couple from the keg, straight from the keg, from the tap, do that, put to one side, make space for another one. So that's that one, and um, big shout out to a, a guy I've not seen before, I've just come across him only this week, and all you guys, or some of you guys will have seen him, Red Dog Brewer, um, he subscribed to my channel this week, I'm not, I had, I'm not sure I'd heard of him, but I think Rusty may have done a, did do a shout out, and I meant to subscribe, and me being me, uh, didn't happen. So, cheers mate, got a great channel. I can't link on this, because I'm on computer. So, Red Dog Brewer, um, he did comment on my the um, raspberry wheat beer. So, if you can't get him, go down there, look at his comment and you can follow him back. So cheers for that mate, he's got a brilliant channel. Um, all you guys know, I mean, I, I started off doing the kits for a long time. Um, I also made a homebrew, uh, homebrew boiler, you know, homemade thing, uh, master on that. And some of you guys just go in there with the, you know, the both feet. And sometimes it's probably a better way. Um, I don't know. I think it's all right if, uh, initially. Um, stainless steel pots. That can, it is a way to go. Stainless steel pots. Uh, a magnificent grain grain basket. Really good. Um, and them grain bags are a pain in the ass to wash out, aren't they? You know. No matter what you do, you always got some remnants. I mean, I, I rinse them, I've had my dishwasher on the washing machine. Then I get called for having hot residue and been grain residue over the rest of the washing. And there you go. Right, so that's that. Let's down to the uh, main event. Really looking forward to this one. Festival kit from Sony. Really good reviews, these ones. They've had, uh, I think you've got, is it two, is it bags or cans? I can't think it's off my head. Um, added hops this sat on the other, even comes with primary sugar this one, I'm not sure if Tony used it. Uh, so what have we got here? Okay, the Belgium Double, done as a straight kit at 7.2%, so that's why I didn't leave it until last. 5th of the 9th, 16th, so it's a really nice time to settle. It's not been overly cold, I've got my conditioning fridge in there, it's just 8 degrees, so I think that's just about right for this. Obviously coming here is warm slightly. So, uh, cheers Tony, we'll uh, give it a crack. Nice, it's not too much. Just pull it off there. You can just see there, there is some smoke rising and you can just see the carbonation coming through. And I've got this, it's actually a Belgian triple glass. One of my Christmas presents from a couple of years ago, so let's put it in this and have a look. Dark kind of thoughts. I was thinking of a more golden. Um, look at that, it's absolutely pouring, fantastic. Not, not too aggressive either, I'm going to leave that at the bottom in there. Whoa, look at that, it's absolutely. Tight white, cream bubbles, up to the light, red hue. Streaming with the carbonation, not overly. And a good finger and a half of headspace, and oh, smells really good. So what I'm going to do now? If you bear with me. Nip on my phone now. Read um, exactly what is in the kit, and we'll if I can get this code right on my phone. Manage it for once, right? Let's have a look. Okay, I've got a screenshot, so I'm really looking forward to this one. As I said. Um, not done the festival kits and I've had loads of good uh, results and short of doing an all grain I don't think you can go wrong with these ones can you? Okay. Right. So what are you waiting for? Let the celebration begin. Okay. Each kit contains only the finest quality ingredients. Easy to follow step by step instructions making the festival world beer kits the UK's most comprehensive and complete premium liquid malt extract beer as ever produced. So ingredients, premium liquid malt extract, barley extract, 
gluten, genuine brewer's yeast, hot pellets, addition, goldings, primary sugar, hop extract, um, the kit weight is 3.6 kilograms. The ones I've, some of the kits I've done have been 3 kilograms, they've been decent. So let's just get more off this. Um, finishing gravity approximately 1.008. I think that's a bit low for uh, one of these higher gravity beers, but obviously they know what they're doing. I don't. Uh, fermentation time, seven days approximate. Yeah, I would say that's about right. I want to leave mine um, 10 to 14 days if I can do, depending on time constraints. Conditioning time, four weeks. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Uh, fermentables required, non primary sugar included. Right, I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get a look at this. Okay, it's just staying, that's going nowhere. That absolutely fantastic looking beer. So, oh, I'm getting a hint of chocolate there. Some hops are coming through. They're not, not like a powerful IPA, but that, that smells absolutely delicious. That, and it's, it's pretty fresh. Is it 5th of December? Uh, September, did I say? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 5th of September. And, uh, I'll tell you what, I should have brought my torch through because that is looking absolutely fantastic. Cheers and cheers Tony. Sweet there straight away. You can tell straight away it's high, high alcohol beer. Um, and it's not, but it's not as heavy as a, not as heavy as it looks, sounds a bit daft that. It's, oh, black. You have to taste on that, the, the bitter hops and them absolutely smack on. Um, Yeah, definitely sweetness on the front there. As it goes down the back of the tongue, you're getting the hops. I'm getting some chocolate in there. And I'm also getting something else. Like a dark, it's a dark fruit kind of thing because... Wow. Wow. I'm going as far as to say that is... Of all the kits I've done and the kits I've tried, that's right up there with the... Aussie Brews, Aussie Brews sent me, so I think it's a Young's American Pale and that is brazen D because that is a crack on that flipping it. And you know what, when you, I love all grain and get some great results, you get some shit results obviously when I've had some bad ones but it's just the time, I haven't got the time at the moment and I think they're about £22 in the shop. I think it's just 32, is it 32 pints? Less than a pound a pound, absolutely incredible for six, you know, seven point two percent. Absolute winner, really, really chuffed for that one, Tony. Thanks very much. I really better savour that one. But that to me, absolute winner, mate. Big thumbs up from me. So uh thanks again, Tony. Um have a look at the other guys as well. Oh big thanks to Adam as well. He, he also put a de decent comment on the Wheat beer kit. I'll have, um, I'll do it a bottle. I will send some of those out, and those who did put some nice comments in, or you know, reasonable comments, I will uh, try and get back and send some out to you guys. So, have a look at Red Dog Brewer again. Uh, so, cheers. It's Friday night. What's not to be happy about? Cheers, fellas. I'll catch you later.